What's going on YouTube? Today we're going to have a look at this crown tank from UL. It is my favorite tank of the year. And then we'll vape on a little bit and that'll be that. Alright guys, let's get to it. Also guys, I wanted to mention too for this UL, the crown tank, even the coils too, the replacement coils are just super clean packaging. Everything's very nice on this thing. First class all the way around. These are the dual coil, the parallel uh, 0.25 ohm D-braid stainless steel coils. Nice tank all the way around. All right, guys. All right, guys. Here is the packaging that you'll get with this UL crown. It reminded me kind of of the Zephyrus packaging. get an extra tank here or the glass section there for the tank and this, this is some quartz glass let's pull this guy out of here inside right now I got the 0.25 parallel stainless steel or degrade stainless steel coil inside of here we'll open this up in a minute you get two other coils with this you're gonna get a point 5 ohm parallel degrade stainless steel coil and a nickel coil with this too. This, is, this one's the nickel. Yeah, this is the nickel coil. This is the 0.5 degrade stainless steel. Let's see what's underneath here. Got a silica pack. Got some extra O-rings. Looks like there's a set for the entire tank here and the drip tip. Got tips for top filling. One, close the air intake. Two, screw out filling oil cap. Does that say oil on it? Three, fill the e-liquid. Four, screw in the filling cap tight. Screw out the air intake. Connect the battery and vape it. Nice. Cool little card. Got something else in there. Oh, cool. You got uh, a breakdown of the tank, how to prime your coils. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, let's take a look at this thing. Drip tip. Nice wide drip tip. I think it's about nine and a half millimeters on top. That's what you do if you're gonna top fill this tank. And then if you're going to fill it from the bottom, Cool. This thing is clean. And the cool thing too is the whole thing comes apart here. So you can clean it very easily. And there you go. Coil out. I do have this pre primed, so I'll set this coil aside. That way, it doesn't gunk up the bottom here. Pretty nice. This is a four mil capacity tank. Oh, 
putting it together wrong there. Oop. There we go. Too many pieces. Yeah, this is my favorite tank so far. The flavor is great on this tank. All right, that's going to be the top. bottom which we'll leave off because we're going to fill her up now this tank has been out for a while but it is my favorite tank and I sure didn't want to leave this one out this tank is wonderful I don't know if it's the degrade stainless steel coils I've even set them up in uh, my Rolo and a couple different uh, ways to do temperature control with the stainless steel, still work wonderful. All right, doesn't have to be all the way full. This coil's tight, there it is. Got your airflow down here, clicks in. Very nice. I like this drip dip. You can get this tank for $35, $40. Somewhere in there, and it is well worth it too. Very nice tank. All right guys, let's go back up to the top screen and bake this. Alright guys, I got this on my Rolo and we're going to bake it at 40 watts. This tank is made of food grade stainless steel, it's a 22 millimeter in width, I think it's around 70 millimeters in height. Wow, the flavor you get off this tank is wonderful. This is the best tank I've used all years, and I've used a, a lot of tanks. So, wonderful tank, $35, $40. I think if you walk in, you're looking at $40 in tax. Wow. Let's turn it up a little bit. We'll wrap this up. up to 50 watts. Alright guys, I'll see you next time. This is Hurley Vapes.